Baby, you all back. We're at Mavericks Flat here on a Tuesday night at Brian Murphy's T-57 event. This is your second time. What do you think of it? Well, mind me back in the day when I was standing outdoors trying to get in the Mavericks Flat. <laughs> So it's a beautiful club to bring back memories mm -hmm. and things that we should not forget. What we did then in the 60s and 70s is our legacy for our children, and we should not forget the Maverick flag and so the other little things that we did here in Southern California. This is our first event tonight. It's going to be every Tuesday from 6 to 9. So we're, we're pretty excited. We have a nice little crowd so far and we're looking forward to getting it up and running and also spreading the word so everybody comes out we can get this place nice and packed. Okay, T-57 is an event for young African-American professionals to come on out, experience this uh, historical nightclub, uh, Mavericks Flat. I call it T-57 because it's Tuesday nights, drinks are five to seven dollars and appetizers are five to seven dollars. So it's a, yeah, it's a nice little catchy name for everybody to, you know, kind of remember. The new Mavericks Flat opened up uh, in December, I believe their first day was December 29th. It closed down in 2000 after being open from 1966 to 2000. It was known as uh, the Apollo of the West Coast and now, now it's back open. Curtis Freeland is the owner, and uh, we're trying to do a big thing. Why come to Mavericks Flat? Well, if you want a little bit of the historical flair with some of the, the new age, you're going to have live music, uh, lot, lots of jazz, lots of live performers. Mavericks Flat is revamping their, their uh, schedule and calendar out for the next several months to really get some nice talent in here, to get some nice live music, some nice live band. The food is good. It's a five-star restaurant. The service is great. Uh, there's no slacking. They didn't cut corners anywhere. The lounge area is renovated. They put several million dollars into to upgrading it and renovating the lounge. It's just a beautiful place. So if you want to come out, have a drink or two or three, and you can come out and it's a cool spot. For, for T-57, we are plastered all over Facebook. We have an event page and we also have a fan page. It's just T-57. You can type that in there and you'll see it. Also, you have um, the website itself, Mavericks Flat website, uh, www.mavericksflat.com. Dot com, And we're also going to be incorporating a meetup. We're going to be incorporating a Twitter account. Um, we're going to be on Black Weekly. We're going to be on another thing called uh, Sweet News. So we really want to blanket all of the, the viral community and get the word out there. We're shooting for uh, the young professionals. We, we're, we're looking at 27, 28 to about 38, 39. Okay. So you can say, I guess, 25 to 40. <laughs> well, you're yeah. not better go home. <laughs> no. <laughs> we we don't kick anybody out, but that's where where uh, Maris Flat in the in before had a tendency to be a, a little over that, and the owner would like to younger it up a little bit and, and kind of get a, a younger crowd, and, and so that's why I've been hired to come in there and, and do just that. No, no cover charge, and again five to seven. So if you're working hard, like I know you all are, you can come on out uh, for free, and it, the drinks are uh, low price, and it's till nine o'clock. So come on out, enjoy yourself, and support the cause. Now, were you aware that Brian Murphy's event is going from 20-something to 30-something? 20-something <laughs> what? Ages. He's shooting for the younger crowd. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. So we just slipped in. It's like, you know, when kids well, slip in when they're underage. Age, you know, like, <laughs> I, can, I can hang with the 20s. <laughs> you know, like, I got it went home. Okay. You're funny. You're funny. No, but it's good that we're here because we want to help them promote it. So if you know somebody who's a young professional, they need to, to network, you might want to bring them out here. Yes. I just love this thing. Isn't it cool? Because what? it really gives us people as color, the real <laughs> color we are, so people stop thinking we Hispanic or Arab. You know, the brothers that came down to Maverick Flats were brothers. They had big afros, mm -hmm. and they came in, they listened to the Timps, mm -hmm. the Bars, yes. Marvin Gaye. Yes. It was that type of place. It and, was. and it's one of these places you had to kind of look a certain way to get in. Oh, so was it a paper bag kind of thing? Uh, what well, yes, those kids with them drop pants can't get in. Oh, okay. okay I'm telling okay. you now. Pants on the ground. Home. Yeah, you know, you might have <laughs> you only come up here with that bump, 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 bump. Okay. <laughs> Well, thank you, William, for allowing me to play with my X-Shot. Okay. It's a lot of fun.